Hi y'all, it's uh, Sunday afternoon here in Fern Creek, Kentucky and uh, back down here at, uh, at, uh, at the American Standard down here and uh, figured today, I uh, ain't really doing nothing today and been kind of sick but uh, I had to get up and do something. Uh, so today I figured we'd uh, we'd uh, shoot some video on pressure switches, how they work and uh, we'll actually shoot a little video with uh, with the new mainline manometer here and we'll also test her uh, electrically with the field piece there. Um, it's one of the sequences of operations to, uh, to get your furnace to fire here um, and starts right here with this inducer motor. This inducer motor actually performs two jobs in itself. It uh, supplies combustion air to your burner box and most of all here uh, at, uh, you know, in advance. It's to get rid of all your CO there. <clears throat> and for, for your furnace to fire, uh, this proves that there is, uh, well actually the, the pressure switch here proves that uh, that uh, you know your your vents open here, and you don't have any obstructions in it. And uh, once this fan reaches a certain speed, uh, this uh, this this particular uh, pressure switch here uh, is uh, 1.15 water column here. And uh, what that basically does is uh, once the uh, the inducer here reaches uh, 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 the required speed, this will uh, this will make at 1.5. Or 1.15. I'm sorry, and uh, basically we'll uh, we'll take a look at her. We'll uh, we'll we'll test it. We'll uh, basically get our manometer up in here, and uh, we'll run some tests. Um, I've got her jumped out down here at the board. I uh, got my red and my hot there jumped out, and I got my white, my heat jumped out, and that way we ain't got to keep running up to the thermostat turn her off and on and waiting on a delay but uh, let me get after her here and uh, we'll uh, we'll get at it hey y'all before uh, before we hook the manometer up and you know and uh, do our little electrical test our voltage test with our uh, field piece and, and get all these all our tubes and T's and everything hooked up here to this uh, uh, pressure switch there's another quick test we can do real quick and we'll just take off the take off these uh, uh, spade terminals off our uh, pressure switch there and I uh, got the alligator hook uh, clip hooked to that one that's that terminal and I'm gonna hook this one to this terminal and what we're actually gonna do here y'all is uh, we're gonna do an uh, uh, ohms test so we'll uh, actually pull her on down over to ohms and if you see right there it's showing open line which that switch hasn't made yet so what we're gonna do here is when I when I hit that uh, electric over there um, we should have some some resistance. It'll be probably pretty small, but uh, we'll have resistance nonetheless And what that's doing is uh, that uh, once that uh, uh, Inducer motor there gets up to speed that should be enough to pull that that switch into 1.5 water column or uh, Yeah, 1.15 is what we determined that was Okay, y'all uh, Let's try her out real quick, and then we'll get to our other test. All right, here we go fire and hold there goes the inducer motor. She's gone and up. There she goes. She pulled. It, it got up to enough speed where we're pulling 0 0.1 resistance. Okay, that tells us right there, y'all. That uh, that pressure switch is made. Okay, let's uh, let's get all this stuff hooked up and uh, we'll get after. Okay, y'all. We just did that resistance test and uh, just wanted to show y'all something real quick. Uh, um, I've got uh, spade terminals back on, uh, perspective terminals on the pressure switch there. Got the uh, alligator clips hooked to it. And uh, I'm going to go hot here. We should get 24 volts, of low voltage, whatnot. And uh, once that uh, pressure switch closes, it should go back to what you're reading right there, 0.001 or something like that. And it's going to look like it's uh, there's no power going to it. However, here, let's, let's take a peek here. Boom, 24, 27 volts, same thing, low voltage. Okay, as soon as that print that seat, that's how fast that thing is. Boom, she's out. All right, to prove a point though, it looks like we don't have any voltage here, correct? All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this uh, this terminal off, or this uh, alligator clip off, and we're gonna put it on there, and there we go, back up to 27. Okay, 28, whatnot. Okay, there she goes, she's fired up. All right, so we'll take, take her right now, and uh, We'll put her back on that terminal and we'll take this one off see she's not reading anything 
and we'll put her on this one. There you go. All right. Okay. Let's uh, get after it and we'll run that test and we'll see how she actually really works and everything. All right. All right, y'all. I uh, got everything hooked up now. Uh, yeah, we just did our little resistance test with the field piece there. We uh, took our uh, spade terminals off and we uh, hooked the field piece directly onto the uh, the correct terminals on the uh, pressure switch and uh, when the switch was off we had open load and when we kicked the switch uh, we had her set to ohms and when we kicked the switch she uh, read a small uh, amount of ohms uh, like 0 0.1 resistance um, now we're going to uh, test the voltage on her um, like I said we've got, uh, we've got the field piece hooked up we got the manometer hooked up I've got this lead here coming off my positive side of my manometer I've got her hooked right here into these new T's I got, man, check him dudes out. Uh, I got that hooked onto the top of the pressure switch. And on the other side of this T, she's feeding back. She's feeding back. Uh, she actually T's right here, goes into the uh, gas valve here. And uh, the other side, this uh, reference tube right here, uh, she feeds directly into the, uh, to the burner box there. Okay, and on the uh, on the uh, negative side of the uh, manometer here, we've got her feeding right here. She's feeding on back here. We've got the nice new little T here hooked to the bottom of the uh, pressure switch here, and she's uh, the other side of the T is hooked directly into the secondary heat exchanger. Uh, we've got our uh, spade terminals back on to our perspective uh, uh, terminals on our pressure switch here, and got our field piece hooked up. Got the alligator clips on there, and uh, I reckon we're ready to rock. Um, let me set my range here. Um, okay, now this is going to be quick, so you're gonna have to keep a, keep keep a quick eye on this. Now, um, once I hit that switch, we're gonna read low voltage, and you know, commonly call you know you know in the in the field here, we'll say, oh, we got 24, we got low voltage. Well, this thing could read 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. You know what I'm saying. Um, but uh, low voltage nonetheless, okay. Uh, but anyway, you're going to have to keep a quick eye on it because we discovered or we uh, determined that uh, this switch, it makes or breaks or however you want to say it, at 1.15 inches water column. So as soon as this dude here hits 1.15 and it might be, you know, it'll be right there at it. As soon as that hits, we're going to see that 24 volt there, it's going to drop out. Okay, and you're going to see what you see right there is zero, uh, 0 0.00, or you'll see 0 0.01, something like that. But trust me, that thing's still hot. Okay, um, it'd be like sort of like uh, testing neutral wire, you know. You might not read any voltage, but trust me, there's voltage there. Um, anyway, okay, let's uh, let's get after it. All right, y'all, let's, uh, let's do it. All right, keep a close eye on that. Here we go, firing a hole. Voltage. There's your, there's your low voltage. Here we go, we're climbing. We're climbing. Boom. Boom, she's out. She is out. Do you see how fast that was? Now, next sequence of operations. There's that hot surface igniter. She's firing up, baby. Gonna get glowy, glowy, glow red right there. Be good and toasty. That's gonna let that gas valve open here. We ought to hear that click. There it goes. All right, firing hole, firing hole. All right, now we got a flame sensor in there too. That's another another sequence of operations. All this stuff is safeties. And getting at the safety portion of it, um, actually on these these new pressure switches, they've actually got see uh, coming off these terminals here. Each individual terminal here, uh, one's feeding uh, feeding the uh, the uh, rollout switch here. The other one's feeding that uh, that high limit back there. It's coming back down here to to one of these Molexes here. But anyway. Uh, we're waiting on that blower to kick. We're getting that uh, heat exchanger good and hot. There's a little bit of a delay on here, so just bear with me. Shot be kicking any moment. And there we go. That's how your furnace works, y'all. It's all a bunch of safety. It's all about uh, you know sequence of operation. You know that's what I was taught. And uh, anyway, that's uh, that's what keeps y'all keeps y'all warm at night and keeps y'all safe. I really do appreciate y'all watching. Um, man, I love what I do. I know y'all are probably sick of watching, looking at my furnace down here, but I don't know, man. It's it's more than a hobby to me. It's I love it. It's my business. Rochester's heating and air, baby. We'll holler at y'all later.
back.